Hey everyone, back at it once again with another one of my bikes. This here is kind of more of a project bike I've been building here for about the last year. It's my 1968 Apple Crate. And this is kind of my take on a restoration. Um, pretty much you have everybody's different take. You have a restoration meaning you just clean it up really well. You have a restoration where you repaint everything, re-chrome it. You know, so basically top to bottom and then you have a restoration, you know, kind of like mine maybe. Then you even have a... Uh, Restoration like Mike and Frank talk about uh, where they call it a restoration. You just let everything deteriorate This is kind of my take. I don't really consider it top to bottom and it definitely isn't a, uh, a Restoration as you can see but um kind of my take on it And I'll just go ahead and walk you through a little bit about it You know uh, what I did and, and some of the things that are done to it Basically what I did was I started with an ori original paint frame uh, So this bike is technically original paint chain guard has been repainted but uh, it's really closely matched and Pete did silk screen the apple crate uh, you know uh, stuff back on it so it is done the right way it's always kind of bothered me you have the people out there that maybe do a restoration on something and then they uh, they go ahead and instead of paying the $35 or whatever it is to have it done they go ahead and just cheapy out on it and put on maybe a $10 decal and it just one of those details that always bug the crap out of me whenever I see a restored bike but, um, so, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much what I started with. The neat thing about this frame is that it was actually sold at a Harley-Davidson dealership. My phone probably isn't the greatest about capturing detail, but it says Harley-Davidson, an authorized dealer. And, uh, the location of the dealership has faded off over time. It's probably just a, like a, you know, a, a, a company-wide thing they did. They just printed out a bunch of decals. They probably stuck them on the, on the actual motorcycles and, and uh, you know probably didn't think too much of it about fading over time but went ahead and like I said I picked up actually the stuff uh, some of the stuff just pieced it together I got the frame the chain guard the uh, the rear hoop the tire and yeah, the seat and I'm thinking that may be it from all the same guy on Schwinn bike form I, um, I like I said I've met a bunch of great people who've helped me complete things pick up pieces that I need o over time on this bike but I'll walk, uh, walk around it from start to back, kind of let you know what I've done and where I got it from if I can. The uh, the handlebar grips are original, um, you know, nothing too special there. Got the red dot eye stabber brake levers, but the handlebars are kind of uh, because I bought these for 10 bucks at a bicycle swap meet. And uh, what's great about them is the fact they are date coded 68 and there is hardly, if any, uh, road rash on there. And that's just nuts to be able to find a good set of handlebars, you know, that are uh, well over 40 years old without any rash on them. And that's just, that's just crazy cool to be able to find something like that and be able to use it and know that it's original. The gooseneck has been re-chromed along with the whole front springer. Um, the whole front springer minus the spring, I guess. Went ahead and had the, uh, the yoke chromed, had the, uh, the truss rods and the actual fork themselves re-chromed. Happy with the way they turned out. Had the front hoop re -chromed. Pretty happy with it. Uh, went ahead and just polished up the center atom. There's people out there that, you know, uh, they chrome it. I'm not sure why. It's aluminum. You can polish it out pretty solid and get it looking, you know, brand new without much trouble. Went ahead and stuck the flag cap on the, uh, on, on the tire there. And also I did use the 1968 dated uh, front tire too, front superior. So uh, that's one thing I like to do if I do something, might as well go ahead and do date coded stuff. Um, just kind of, you know, kind of buttons up the details. The, uh, the shifter here I got off a guy on Schwinn Bike Form as well. I believe his name is Joe, who actually kind of restores these. He soaks them in a Vapo Rust um, and uh, lets, you know, lets that stuff do the job. Great product, by the way, if you guys have ever uh, came across rusty bike parts and you're trying to just clean them up. I highly recommend Evapo Rust. It is maybe a little bit on the expensive side, but I believe O'Reilly's Auto Parts sells it. Um, you can go and get you a jug of it, and, and like I said, I, I've never had a problem with it. It's always done a great job for me. But he lets it soak, and then he polishes out the chrome and uh, re-decals it. So it does have new decals on it, um, but it is original chrome. And then what's really great is the fact that he takes that shifter knob there, sands it down, re, uh, paints it black, and then sticks the five back on it to get it looking like brand new. And a lot of people are out there like, well, why don't you just, you know, go out and get you a new original shift knob. And I'll tell you the problem with that is when these came from the factory, they were put on with JB Weld. And so those shift knobs, about the only way to get them off is with a hammer. 
And let me tell you, when they come off with a hammer, they come off in pieces. So, you know, they're really, I think Pete may have re, uh, reproduced them, but even then, you only did a limited batch of them, and, and they're pretty hard to come by and still pretty expensive. So, uh, you know, definitely, definitely think about it before you go destroying your handle uh, you know, or your, your shift knob, thinking that you're going to be able to easily find a, a replacement because that just may not happen. The brake cables on this are original linemen. Uh, you know, uh, they got that little bit of a, a grayish tint to them with a the metal flake in them. So they are new old stock cables. Um, I believe these are the ones that you typically see on the original ones that, that gets that yellow look to them. So I uh, went ahead and put those on. Have the single cable clip, the single hump cable clip, and then the double. Just went ahead and figured I'd add one. And anytime I put anything like that on it, I always put electrical tape on the inside of it. That way, if you have to take it off, it never scratches the paint. Just a little bit of an idea out there for anybody. Um, I went ahead and also had the seat post re-chromed, the pogo seat post. It was all bent up and stuff. Had them straighten it back out. And so it's now fully functional and looks great. The seat, I got the seat with the white... Uh, and red stripe just like a 68 is supposed to have but I went out and got the glitter stripe seat So it actually follows the same flake pattern that the white has around that stripe Which is pretty neat kind of another little pop factor whether or not it's right. I don't know I mean the seat, you know bikes not all original So I just went ahead and you know kind of opted out for the little neat thing on the seat the pedals are original pedals um, But they are in extremely good condition. They have the uh, the end caps on them. I know my phone's not great about capturing detail, but there's no rash on those. You can still see the swing cross very, very vividly. The uh, the seat post there is actually an original seat post. I got it. I had to drive about an hour and a half away to get it, but it came with uh, all the all the hardware, and so I, I felt like it was well worth the drive for what stuff was uh, going for just without even the, those uh, those clamps down there. So. Uh, Got a pretty decent deal on it. The rear fender, I believe, is re-chromed, but uh, I got it off the same guy with that I got the frame off of. Um, I just say that because the uh, those um, those rear fender braces there aren't CAD plated like they're supposed to be. So uh, just a little trip factor kind of bugs me a little bit, but you know, uh, it's, I say this bike isn't all original. It's I'm just trying to make it as close as I can with the best stuff available, and. Uh, so it'll suffice for now, but I may end up changing it later. The rear rim is original. Uh, went ahead and also wrapped it in, a, uh, in an original 1968 dated Redline Slick. Now these things are incredibly hard to come by in good shape. You have uh, may have seen the front superior uh, Redline that sold on eBay. I believe it sold. It may not have met reserve, but it brought like 850 bucks. The uh, Now the rear slicks aren't they don't command that much money but they do command a lot and uh finding one that's you know in great shape like this is just something that doesn't cross your path too much uh, i was lucky to have the guy that i bought the frame and everything else off of uh help me score this so definitely appreciate that and and uh just gives that that little cherry on the top really for me uh in detail and, and making the bike look like it's actually supposed to the derailleur is original I actually got lucky and picked that up at a swap meet for like two bucks. It was laying in a box. I'm not sure if the guy knew what he had, but I mean, those are even silly expensive in a lot of senses. The rear brake caliper I paid like $10 for, and it is the correct 1080 style. Uh, it is the 1080 before they went to the 3.6. So they're the same thing, but the 68s I've always um, found have the 1080 on them. So I went ahead and got that detailed out also. Now, the sprocket, I'm not sure if I brought this up yet or not, but the sprocket, I do have one, and I do have the crank arms and the chain, but the problem with that was, and this is why I'm against re-chroming in a lot of senses, is that when I took my sprocket to get re-chromed, they made the teeth too thick, and now it won't even accept the chain, so I'm out the money to have, to have it re-chromed like I did, and I'm out that I'm going to have to find a new, uh, a new sprocket that's probably in about a... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the best original shape sprocket that I can just so I don't have to worry about it and that goes with a lot of stuff a lot of the things that I've had re-chromed that have threads the threads are now that were too thick and a lot of, I had to re-tap a lot and so that's something else to keep in mind re-chroming is not always the best option sometimes you can save yourself some money by buying just the best available stuff you can buy and it holds its value a lot more because it is original stuff but I'll have to definitely do another video of this when it's all completed 
like I said, it's not going to take a whole lot much more. I do have everything but the sprocket. So uh, definitely I will make another one when it's all said and done. But figured I'd go ahead and share a little bit of it now while uh, I got all my other bikes out. So I want to say thanks for taking a look. Go check out my other vids, some of my other bikes. And uh, you all have a great day.